Hi, it's Jeff Ogan from Sport Dad Sports Photography. In this video, I'm going to show you the folder structure that I use on my computers and then do a quick ingest in Photo Mechanic to show you how those folder structures will maximize your efficiency. Thanks for watching. Before adding Photo Mechanic to my workflow, I would shoot. Um, let's say in this example a thousand images and I would bring those into Lightroom or Photoshop and deal with those thousand images so no one would argue that that isn't uh, particularly slow so I added photo mechanic to my workflow and in that same same example I take a thousand photos I would ingest into photo mechanic where I would rename organize the folders add the metadata cull rate and crop and then take just the keepers so in this example, it might be 200 images. Bring those 200 images into Lightroom or Photoshop to deal with those much, much faster. So let's take a look at the folder structure that I use uh, in order to do this. So before, again, just using Lightroom, I would take 1,000 images and I would bring 1,000 images into Pictures uh, 2021, Lacrosse, and then the event name with the date, so 2021 0501 Toronto versus Guelph. So in my uh, catalog in Lightroom, I would have a thousand images. But now using uh, Photo Mechanic, uh, my workflow would be I take the same thousand images and I would ingest onto the computer into a folder that I call Raw Images. And then the subfolder would be the event name. Um, and I use the variable so I don't actually have to type uh, the, the date, etc. Um, I would then do my culling, rating, cropping, um, captioning, etc. and take just the keepers into um, uh, Lightroom. So there are those 200 images again and they would go into pictures, 2021, etc, etc. So the difference between my workflow before Photo Mechanic and after is I now use this temporary subdirectory or this catch-all for all my in, uh, ingests. Um, I call it raw images and then the subfolder is event. So renaming in Photo Mechanic much faster than Lightroom, culling, rating, cropping. You also have the advantage of being able to use variables in Photo Mechanic that you cannot use in Lightroom. Um, and then I copy the keepers into Lightroom, not move. I like to, um, uh, I like redundancy. So have the thousand images here that I can later archive or delete if I uh, so choose. I currently uh, don't delete any of the images unless they're really just bad. So here we're looking at my favorites on my Mac. So I, let me just show you here. So I've got exported photos. So this is where I have all my applications set to, uh, um, post my or uh, save my exported photos to. Um, Photo Mechanic, I have a separate folder here uh, for code replacements and hot codes, so it's always uh, easy to find where they are. I've got another one here, Photoshop Creations, kind of unrelated specifically to uh, uh, Photo Mechanic, but then when I ingest my images, they automatically go into a subfolder inside this folder called Raw Images on Dropbox. Once I'm finished with a project, I move them over to Raw Images on Dropbox Archive. So these are Dropbox folders. That means they synchronize between my various com uh, computers and devices. Now here where I'm showing I ingest, this is when I ingest, it goes to Users, Dropbox, Raw Images on Dropbox. So when I'm ingesting, I don't need to type in the, uh, the folder name. It picks up that variable uh, from the metadata template that I uh, update before a shoot. Now if you don't use Dropbox or any of those cloud storage devices and you want to put it on NAS, easy. You just call this raw images and then raw images on NAS and then up here just raw images. Now I've called it raw images. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it your ingest folder or um, all your unedited images, uh, whatever you want. That's just the name that I've uh, settled on for my purposes. So now let's pop into Photo Mechanic and uh, take a look at the ingest. So uh, Command G on the Mac 
and um, we see here that the primary destination where the copies of the images will go is a subfolder called raw images on Dropbox. But what I've done is I've saved um, my template for the ingest. So this is a two team single uh, game ingest. So it will put the images in a folder uh, dated and named after the event. And the file name will be sportdad underscore the event name. Let's take a look at the ITPC template before the game. And I'm going to put in, uh, what is it, U of T uh, Varsity Blues versus Guelph Griffins. And I've saved the city because I shoot there often. And I've saved the location. So there we go. All the rest of it is using uh, variables to pull in uh, date, location, photo credit, uh, etc. So I now close that and then I would hit ingest. So now that the images have finished ingesting, let's take a look here and I can see um, there's my contact sheet or there, there's my uh, folder. Um, I could have uh, set the preferences to open the contact sheet when the uh, ingest uh, started, but I choose not to do that. That's just my uh, particular workflow. So I now open it up. Let's make it a little bigger. And you see that the files have been named sportdad underscore U of T varsity blues at Guelph Griffins. And there's the date and uh, U of T varsity blues. So that's the second line is the folder information. I come here and I look at the individual um, metadata on each of the images and you see Guelph, Ontario and there's the date. Now clearly that date is not the date that I used earlier. This is uh, just part of the demo. Um, and these pictures are uh, from actually a couple of years ago. Um, photo credit, all of that was pulled in and uh, saved automatically as uh, because it pulled it from the, the metadata. So in short, um, all I did was I set up to um, set this up in advance. So I went here, uh, start with this one, and then updated the metadata to put, or the metadata template, and close that, close this, and now I'm ready to go and do the shoot. I go take my pictures, I put the card in, and it automatically ingests and renames. Saves a lot of time, now I can very quickly start on my uh, culling and cropping and rating and uh, further captioning. So there's a quick explanation of the folder structure that I use for my workflow and a very quick example of an ingest using that folder structure. Hope that was of help. If you like it, subscribe, like, and feedback and comments, always welcome. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.